wherever you are. This is Coach Lee, and we're working on speech anxiety in all its forms, and we're talking with Parth. Say hello, Parth. Hi, Coach Lee. And Parth is from India, and he is um, a neurologist, a medical doctor and a neurologist. And he, um, let's see, he began his stuttering at age 13, which is fairly close to when I started. Um, he said that he appeared disabled about a quarter of his conversations. And when he did, it was like 70% of his words. Uh, it was words with authorities, um, then on the phone, and uh, talking in class. That's all very common, typical, right down the middle of what, what we can expect. Sometimes uh, he can talk alone without stuttering and whisper without stuttering. Most people, most stutterers can do that. Um, therapy, he had group sessions online and some private therapy, but it didn't solve the problem. He, he uh, how did you find us? How did you find uh, us? Google. Google, okay. And he joined WSSA, and that was in uh, late April, and it's it's June, so it's not long, a, a little over a month ago. And um, so we started Skyping recently, and his speech, he told me when we, when we met in early uh, May, that his speech has been better, and as he had delivered two talks uh, apparently that went well, and he was using crutch two uh, synonyms, using synonyms, similar words and phrases, and crutch four, which is, two is probably the most common crutch, and it's probably used by a lot of stutters who never heard of me, and that's fine. Uh, crutch four is a little different, and it's a very effective way of inserting another word or sound and that breaks the blocks and connecting that to the blocked word. And that works very well. I had urged him when we talked in May to use a speech plan to think when he feels pressure to think a speech plan. In fact, to practice the speech plan when he didn't really feel like he needed it until he could learn to use it. And the speech plan was one, talk in short increments of words meaning one to three words or so, followed by a stop of at least one second. The shorter the increments of words, the easier it is to overcome the pressure. So short increments followed by one second stops. 1001 is one second. Then, Part two of the plan was to link whatever words he said as one. How are you becomes one word. How are you? And you hum through all three words. How are you? You connect them as if you were singing them. How are you? Without a melody. How are you? And that's linking. When you link, you cannot stutter. It's impossible. You must hesitate, think a word, hear it, and force it. It can be done in a tenth of a second or a twentieth of a second or whatever, but you've got to do all four things. When you link, you do not hesitate. You have no time to think a word. You have no time to fear it and no, no reason to force it. So you defeat it, linking defeats stuttering cold. As long as you can get by the first word, you're done. So that was part two of the game plan, speech plan, link. And we also call that humming through words. We also call it saying all words as if they are one word. I am doing that right now. The way I'm speaking does not sound strange, robotic, or difficult. 
It's easy when you know how to do it. You teach yourself by using it when you don't need it. So my next question is, since we last, or my first question is since we last spoke, have you been using your speech plan short length stuff? Yes, I have in my most of the conversation started using this plan. Although sometimes in few of my conversations, I forgot to use the plan and they were mostly when I was at home. Otherwise, okay. when I am at work, I try to use this plan as much as possible. Has it helped? Yes, it has helped. And just for your knowledge, mostly, I have also started using crutch five and crutch eight. Five and three? Five and eight. And eight, five and eight. Oh. Good. Um, but very good. You know, it's a funny thing when we, we, when we use these crutches, all we're doing is taking our minds away from the problem and focusing our thinking on something else. In this case, other ways of doing things. And when we do that, we just block the habit altogether. It's when we don't think anything and, we, and we're nervous and our heart starts pounding and we begin to sweat or whatever, that's, uh, that's the pressure. We're letting the pressure get to us. When we feel pressure, when we feel pressure, we should stop talking, take a two count, 1001, 1002, and start again using our speech plan. Speaking in short increments, linking our words, and stopping for one second or more, sometimes more. Stops give us a break, they give the listener a break, and they improve the quality of our speech. Because most people talk too fast and they run their words together, they don't give the listener a chance to absorb and remember what they're saying. So when you and I or anyone speaks short link stop, we will be better understood by everyone. And they won't think there will be no stuttering either. We're not going to stutter. Now, have you had, since we spoke uh, or, 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 or before, can you tell me when, uh, can you remember your last incident where you felt that you appeared clearly speech disabled and, humi and humiliatingly so, can you remember when the last incident of that was? Actually, that was recently. It, was, it happened around five or six days back. Okay. So I was meeting a doctor. He was a pediatrician. And I had to introduce myself. So I told her that I am Dr. Bath Bansal. I am a consultant and neurologist. So I stopped at this word neurologist and I tend to I took almost three four seconds to utter the word 
Okay. Uh, uh, was that, we don't say our last names on here. My, mine is okay, but we don't say that for any of my students because we don't give out information that could enable anybody to harass you in any way, shape, or form, or start sending you advertisements about buying a car or something, you know? <laughs> so, Thanks. so we never mention last names or email addresses. Uh, I could call you Butler or Buchanan or anything beginning with a B, um, but not, but not by your name. So anyway, um, <clears throat> when you did this and you took, uh, too long to say your name, Knowing what you know now, what sh what could and should you have done to avoid that problem at that time? Uh, I think I could have used the same plan. I could have been. I could have stopped there for a few seconds. I should have took my time, and I should have used the technique of short link stop. Well. Uh, I would say to you that to avoid that, to avoid a one word problem and saying your name, my name or India or London or whatever, whatever the specific word is, um, to say one word, speech plans are not the best alternative. The best alternatives are, th that's what you think going into the conversation. And if you use your speech plan, you won't have a problem with the first word. But if you do, then you need crutch four, crutch, you know, crutch two, crutch one, crutch five, crutch six, crutch seven, crutch eight. Those are the individual word crutches. Now, four and eight are, in my opinion, about the easiest ones to use. Uh, and they're virtually impossible to detect when you know how to use them. And you can say any word doing it. Now, um, was your problem with your first name or your last name or both? No, it was not with my name. It was with my degree, my profession. Oh, oh. Neurologist. Neurologist. Okay. All right. Let's let. Okay. Fine. Uh, you know, we, I, I want to stress to you that we we don't practice words we practice methods we don't we, the words don't matter the methods work with all words some methods are a little better with one word than another but basically they all work with with the words so the words irrelevant but we, we like to know what words gave you a problem because we like to use them as examples it could be neurologist or uh, Newton or uh, New England or never, or it could be anything with an N or something, anything close to it. So, um, so we use that word. Now, if we were going to use crutch four, say after me, a uh, neurologist. A uh, neurologist. Mm, neurologist. Neurologist. So neurologist. So neurologist. And neurologist. And neurologist. Well, neurologist. Well, neurologist. Now the point I'm the point here part is that when you say any other when you make any sound ah or mm, you break the block on the word. I don't care what the word is. The word is irrelevant. You will break the block on the word. When you connect that sound and the stream to that word, a uh, neurologist with no break, mm, neurologist, you will never have a problem saying that word. Never. Now, you can insert a word and do the same thing. I can say, and neurologist, A-N-D, and neurologist, or well neurologist, so neurologist. No one cares if I say and or well or so, or if I go ah or mm, no one cares. So uh, no one notices, no one cares. Now, I can make these, these inserted sounds or words, I can make them loud or soft. 
I can make them long or short. So, so let's do a few and I'll, we'll adjust the length. Uh, I'm trying to do it the way I do it. Uh, neurologist. Um, neurologist. Uh, neurologist. Um, neurologist. Uh, neurologist. Uh, neurologist. A uh, neurologist. A uh, neurologist. You see how short we made it? Now I'm going to change the volume. I'm going to go from loud to softer to very soft. A uh, neurologist. 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 Neurologist. A neurologist. Neurologist. But I, I can make it so soft you can't hear it. I can make it long, medium, long, short. I can make it loud, softer, soft, and so soft you can't hear it. It'll still work. It'll work every time. Every time. And that's crutch four. We're inserting a sound, ah or you can insert a word like well or so or and because they don't mean anything. It's like you're thinking. Some people are going like or um or something, you know, instead because their mind their mind is somewhere else. Fine. So what? So you when you do when you insert a word, it doesn't matter what word it is. I can insert the word pizza. It has nothing to do with the subject, but I could say pizza neurologist. When I say pizza, I'll break the block too. As silly as it sounds, I prefer like and so or well, but um, anyway, so if you mad, that's crutch four. Now let's talk about crutch eight. If we modulate it, if we come out of our, we stutter in our regular voice register where I'm right now. Now, the minute I come out of that register, when I'm up here or when I go down, when I'm down here, I'm not stuttering. Now, if I stayed up there or down there indefinitely, I would eventually stutter there, but I don't. When I just use it for a word, a syllable, a letter, it's no problem. So say after me, neurologist. 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 And so when you go way up, neurologist, or down, neurologist, and come up, you won't stutter. So that's crutch eight. And so those, those are simple, simple, simple ways of solving this problem. Yes, you can drop the first letter, uh, urologist, he would know what you meant without the N. Say that. Urologist. Say that. Urologist. See, he he would know what you meant, and and also you could pronounce it. Uh, another, the crutch number nine talks about pronunciation, and a lot of people stutterers when they think about pronouncing clearly, it destroys the stuttering problem. Say after me, pronunciation. Pronunciation. Neurology. Neurologist. Neurology. Neurology. India. India. Pakistan. Pakistan. Nepotism. Nepotism. Newton. Uh, sorry? Newton, N-E-W-T-O-N. -E Isaac Newton. Newton. Isaac Newton. Yeah. So, say after me. When I pronounce. When I pronounce. All my words. All my words. And my syllables. And my syllable and my word endings and my word endings 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 i never stutter i never stutter 
And that's the truth. With a lot of people, all they have to do to beat stuttering, believe it or not, is think extreme pronunciation. There are people who beat it thinking, really, I had one guy in, in, in Indochina, in, uh, yeah, Indochina, uh, in Indonesia, who beat it by smiling. And he, he just felt like when he smiled, he, he never stuttered. And he, you know, it takes 12 muscles to smile, and uh, it sends a positive endorphin message to all your 30 trillion cells. And for this guy at work, it was an absolute way of beating stuttering. And uh, I put his name in my book with his permission. Dimas Okta was his name. I got the smiling cr crutch from him, you know, about five years ago. <laughs> anyway, smiling is another thing like pronunciation that if you, when you're in, when you are, when you feel yourself under pressure as a general policy, just as a general policy, slow down. That's number one. Increase the length of your stops, the frequency and length of your stops. Think, these are, think pronunciation and really try and do it. Really try to pronounce uh, all your syllables or and or think smile. These are simple ways of changing your relationship with speech, you know, and changing your your karma about speech. And and look, you have every right and ability to view pressure speech. I love pressured speech because I've been saying to myself for decades, I love to talk under pressure. I speak my best under pressure. So whether it's another uh, lawyer or doctor or a huge group or a microphone or a TV camera, I don't care. It makes me better because I try harder. It's, and you can do the same thing. We turn, you know, the Chinese symbol for crisis is the same as the symbol for opportunity. And this is the way I like to view our speech issues, as an opportunity for excellence. We're gonna step it up. We're not only not gonna stutter, we're going to speak better every single time out. We're going to get so good, it's almost scary. And I know I'm much better under pressure than any other time. And you can do the same thing. What? I have realized one thing. When I speak under pressure, for the initial two to three minutes, I tend to hesitate. I become more anxious, but after those two to three minutes, I speak under pressure. My speech and my confidence, it just rises. Great. That I love to hear. And that's the beginning of the, the new part, the new part that, that, that is going to love to speak. I mean, our, our first goal is not to have bad incidents for a month, fine. Our second goal is not to, not to plan words at all. And our, our third goal is to love to speak everywhere. We don't care what it is. And our last goal is to be able to say, I converted stuttering into a blessing. I now, I worked on my anxiety, my anger, my jealousy, my hatred, my greed, my insomnia, blah, 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 blah. And I'm a better person. I'm still doing mind training. I started doing it in my 20s. It's helped me a lot. It, it's not going to make me perfect, but it's going to make me a lot better than I would be otherwise. Right. And you, you can do, you can, and, and you of all people know what I'm saying is true because of your medical training. Neurology. I mean, that's you know, we you you may be interested to know that the U.S. Patent Office recently 
gave us the right to say the neuroscience method with a with an R in a circle. It's a registered. It's a registered thing of ours now. <laughs> the neuroscience <laughs> method. You love that. Wonderful. The U.S. Great. The U.S. Patent Office approved it. So. And, and so we, you know, uh, so we're, we we love working with you because you're you're a neurologist. I mean, you're 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 perfect. Uh, you're our perfect person for us. And uh, so we want to make sure that that you have a happy experience. I want that with everybody, but we want to make sure that you have a happy experience here and that it works because you can, you should, and. And it, it, it's just, it's a wonderful thing, you know. I have a question, Coach Lee. I have a question. Can I use crutch eight to complete the whole sentence instead of one word? Crutch eight modulation, changing your voice register. Um, the answer is yes. But I, but I think the real answer for conversations is not crutch eight. It's thinking short increments, speaking in one to three words or so without counting your words, stopping anywhere. There is no bad place to stop talking. I can do it anywhere, anytime with anybody, but stopping for one second, that keeping it short, number one. Number two, connect all your words as if they're one word. Right. If you want to think pronunciation, that'll help because I can say, how are you very clearly, even though I'm linking all three. And then, so it's short link stop. I would recommend that you think speech plan and think crutch only when you're dealing with an individual word like neurology, you know, fine, or the name of the hospital or something, and it's fixed. Then I would think about, then I would think about crutch one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and four and eight are the easiest, very easy to use when you get used to them. And no one will know you're using them. You know, I mean, I love all those crutches, but again, I'm trying to keep it simple for you and for everybody else. So um, use a think speech plan, not crutch. When you're under pressure, the minute you feel pressure, stop talking, take it to account, start again thinking short link stop, short link stop, short link stop, short link stop. That's it. And practice it. Get it down cold. And the more you use it, the easier it'll be to use, to use it under pressure. Right. Uh, let me let me get you to read something to me. Uh, Okay. Oh, Okay, this is the quote from the psychiatrist Frank S. Caprio that's in the front of all my books. And I always say it's the most important words in my book. They're not my words. They're the psychiatrist's words. And I've been trying to live by them ever since I, I read them in his book, Helping Yourself with Psychiatry. So read me these words and, and make me believe it. We have three choices to accept or reject thoughts. Nothing compels us to think anything except our own 
desires use your mental switch to dictate your thoughts believe that you can improve and you will do you believe that absolutely no doubt about it and that that's what i believe to my core of my soul and um I'm trying to prove it every day in everything I do. Um, and it's not easy, of course, but it's a work in progress. And I love doing it. So you should say that. The, 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 you should keep the, 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 those words handy. And when you do your daily mind training, you should say that before you do it. Uh, are you doing your daily mind training? Uh I tried, but sometimes I didn't get enough time to practice it. So well, I'm going to I'm going to urge you. You're uh, I'm going to I'm going to say to you what I believe that it's the most important part of our program. And okay. if you take anything away from this program to do the rest of your life, uh, you're not going to need crutches for your speech for long, uh, and you won't need a speech plan uh, indefinitely. Uh, it'll all go away. But what won't go away is your need to program your mind to keep, I mean, if if we don't program it, our minds will program themselves, won't they? From the environment and taking other people's thoughts in, the environment programs our brain. I mean, our brains, will, like a computer, receives and transmits, but Unlike a computer, it goes out and gets programming on its own. <laughs> and that's what we got to fight. And that's where we get in trouble. And that's what we work on constantly to keep that from happening. To stay, you know, I, I tell my grandchildren, it's kind of like driving a car. When you stop mind training, you're letting go of the steering wheel. And you're kind of hoping for the best. And steering with your knees or something and that's just not a good plan so i really hope that you will i mean it's 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 only you know maximum 20 minutes it's 10 to 20 minutes twice a day and i tell all my students it's more important than eating and i hope you'll do it um and get the full benefit of our program right so um, are you reading aloud? Yes. OK. And how much do you read aloud? Uh, I would say around half hour to 45 minutes a day. OK, good. And do you find are you enjoying that? Yes, absolutely. Good. And uh, I know that it's helping. And um, you have a a young son, and soon you're going to be able to read to him, and yeah. you're going to teach him to read before he ever gets near a school. And there's a there's a series of books um, which I recommend to you, the Golden Book series. You can find it online, Golden Book series. And it's for children. And it has all different kinds of stories and stuff like that. And it won't be long before you can read with your son. And, you know, one word at a time, we learn to read. And right. he learns and he works on his speech at the same time. And so do you. And everybody is improving. And you, you, you do some bonding that uh, really is irreplaceable uh, by doing this. So it helps you. It helps him. It helps your, your wife, too, your relationship with everybody's more harmonic and better connected. And um, it's fun. It's just right. fun. And you, you'll create not only a reader before school, but you'll create someone who enjoys reading and who enjoys talking. The very things that you, you know, you didn't enjoy talking at, for some time. And so you got off on a wrong foot. And at, at 13, you didn't do it until then. And I did it almost the same time. And I made no sense at all. I was actually a good speaker before that. 
I won a, a speech contest in school in the sixth grade at age 12. <laughs> and then I got nervous in class one day and started stuttering. It, was, it made no sense at all. And then it snowballed. It's terrible. I mean, I then battled it to about age 30 before I got behind, I got a hold of it. And I did it using crutch one, crutch two, crutch three, crutch five, crutch six. I didn't have four. Oh, I had seven whispering. That helped me. I didn't really think about eight until later or any of the others. But I've learned those from helping other stutterers. It's evolved. And so we're very happy with that. So um, our goal again is, you know, we want you to be able to go a month without having a bad incident. And then um, it will help you as well as others for you to post a, a stop stuttering story. It doesn't have to be under your name or with your face if you don't want it to be. But it would certainly be good to say what you do, and because that would help other people a lot. Um, and so that's our next goal. And then after that, our goal is we don't plan words. When you're under pressure, you shouldn't be planning any word. If you didn't plan a word, a uh, neurologist, you wouldn't have a problem with it. You got to plan it to have a problem. So we're going to eliminate planning and then we're going to then we're going to we're going to teach ourselves to love to speak. And that's the attitude you want. What uh, that's another thing. What affirmations are you using? What apart, from these, apart from these. Uh, what do you have when you do your mind training? Right. You should have 10 affirmations. Do right. you? Yes, so I I tend to recollect and I tend to speak a very famous dialogue, uh, which was there in movie uh, way back in 2006, right? So the movie's name is Rang De Basanti. I'm going to email you some affirmations that I would like you to use, okay. you know, and, and basically um, when you do your affirmations, um, the more relaxed you are, the better. But the flip, but on the other hand, some I sometimes do them while I'm walking my dog or doing a treadmill too. So I do them both ways: relaxed before bed in a reclining chair. I'll do you know ten to twenty really deep inhale and exhales. Then I do it, and then I then I get into bed and keep doing it until I go to sleep, and then they're in my mind as I sleep. And that helps me too. And then when I wake up, I get back in the reclining chair and do them again. Or I go to the gym and I do them while I'm doing my treadmill or something like that. So uh, I say each affirmation 20 times. Repetition, the most repeated thought becomes our dominant thought, which becomes our reality. And that changes the way we think. So I want, I tell myself, you know, uh, the affirmations, I'll, I'll, I'll run over the affirmations I'm going to send you. Hold on just a second. Um, just one second. Uh, okay. These are the um, affirmations right out of the book. Uh, every day, in, number one, every day in every way, my speech grows better and better. Number two, when I speak, calm floods my body. Number three, if I can say one word anywhere, anytime, I can say any word anywhere, anytime, which is on the cover of my books. Number four is I love to speak. I love to say my name. Number five is I link my words as I hold my tone through all my words to a stop. Number six, my best efforts and loving attitude guarantee achievement of my reasonable goals. Number seven is I love to speak to groups and to authority figures. 
Number eight, I speak immediately without planning words. Number nine, I smile as I speak with positive passion and joy. And number 10, one of my, is my favorite, today I'll make a happy day. The first one is Emil Coué, the famous auto-suggestion uh, creator, really, from the 1800s. Um, um, and every day in every way, my speech grows better and better. Except he said, every day in every way, I grow better and better. He wasn't working on speech. But So I'm going to send you those affirmations by email and ask you to use those 20 times each in succession. You say each one 20 times. And... It's, listen, this, I swear to you, this is the best part of our program and it's gonna help your, it's gonna do more for your life than anything else in our program. So it's very, very important that you do this. And um, when would you like to meet again? And do you have anything else you wanna talk about today? Nothing outside. Okay, when would you like to talk again? Can we meet in two weeks if that is fine with you? All right, hold on just a minute. Let me pull up my, I can find this calendar here. Uh, 1724 and, yeah, I okay, I'm putting it in. Okay, I got you down for June 24th, uh, the same time as today. I'm going to st stop this recording right now.